Hey YouTube, so today I am doing a very exciting video with somebody who I am so excited to be filming with. created a lovely wearable nighttime look. <laughs> this is how much, this is how the, the basically, basically all of the videos went like this but I don't care I absolutely love it. Like the face stained. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we have created this look so we took the daytime glam which I'll probably insert somewhere around here um, and turned it into this super night glam look that you could wear clubbing, you could wear pretty much anywhere when you're going out and want to be a wee bit more dramatic. I absolutely love it. She pulls it off so well, like perfect face right here. She's also going to leave this video with a really big head after all the compliments she's got for me, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how we got this look, please keep watching. All of Sophia's links will be down below, but you probably already follow her already. Let us know what you think of the video. Yep. So, Let's just get on to the video and we will show you how we got this look. Okay, so we've just taken off the lashes from the previous look. I will link the video down below again if you want to see how we created this eyeshadow look. So it's just missing the lashes. So I'm going to start to build on the eyeshadow now and then kind of build the contour and stuff like that to make it more dramatic. So I'm just getting a wee bit of mix of Makeup Geek Frappe and Makeup Geek Cocoa Bar. I'm just tapping off the excess and bringing this through the crease. So this is something that like anyone could really do, I mean like if you're coming in from maybe lunch with the look that we had in the previous video, like anyone can really like do this, just add it on. If you were going on a night out, yeah. this is perfect, but say you've been working all day and you were, you had this look on before and you wanted to glam it up but you didn't have that much time, this is kind of the perfect look for it. I used to be so bad at getting makeup on, like do you remember no, I used so to cry? I'm and just um, getting a big fluffy brush to really blend these edges. Did you used to hate it? I used to cry when I was out. Why? I just hated it. It was such a tumble. She hated having people fuss. Like, hated fuss. I couldn't do it. Like seeing people touch me, it was like... No, like your whole life's about fuss. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's such a change. Still not. You would have never guessed that you were a tomboy before this. Mm. Like, never, ever. That's such a tomboy. I still think I am a wee bit, like, secretly, like... In the heart. Yeah. <laughs> Like I went bought a pet like got a penny board the other day. No way. <laughs> but that's fun, that's all good. Okay, so now we're gonna use um makeup geek bitten and I'm just using this um fluffy brush we used this in the last video, that's why it's a wee bit dirty. And I'm just gonna really deepen the outer corners up again. This eyeshadow has kind of like a ready tone to it, which I really, really like. Has anyone ever started crying when you've been doing the makeup and like, or like, you know, not crying, but like their eyes really watering? Oh like yeah. There's been, there's been people who have I've had to spend like an extra half an hour trying to fix it after their eyes have watered and like ruined the eyeshadow. Um. And then just going back in with your first blending brush and just blend, blending out all the lines or all the edges. <laughs> I remember one of my YouTube videos. I was like. What was I talking about? Like, it was like the new makeup challenge. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep like dabbing this. Like, and I said dab like six billion times. I, was like, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> you said the same word a hundred times without realizing. Especially when you're explaining makeup. Oh, like, I So I'm just that. gonna blend this. Um, you just keep blending mm. it, and when I first finish blending, and like, blended, why do you even go with that? <laughs> But then someone commented on Sophia's Sophia an eyebrow tutorial and someone commented she said eyebrow 80 times so what, what do you want her to say? What is it? I'm just going to um, show you how I define the hair, my above my hair above my eye, just above the brow bone, <laughs> like well, it's my, my slug <laughs> that sits on my face, like it's called an eyebrow. So now we're going to take um, Makeup Geek Cherry Cola, it's a slightly darker red tone just on a wee um, small point of brush and focus this more in the outer corner again. So anyone that buys Sprite from McDonald's, so you think I'm just buying Sprite? Every time you buy Sprite, it's diet. 
That's right. Yeah. Why? Can I have it? I don't know. Can't me? That's my cousin, by the way. <laughs> so what's that? And is he like work there or something? Yeah. Hashtag exposing McDonald's. And I'm just going in again with Bitten and just um, blending that out a wee bit more. I feel like I'm like going to like an old Hollywood like thing. In the with front. the hair. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to take um, Makeup Geek, I think it's Corrupt, or maybe that's Max, but yeah, no, it's Corrupt. And just with a pointed um, brush, I'm just really going to darken out the outer corners. It's crazy how you know all the names of like... I am addicted to Makeup Geek shadows, like I love them. I so mean, much. I don't even know like half of my foundations if I'm ever doing like a YouTube channel, <laughs> like, or YouTube video, I have to like... Look at them like six times. So I'm just really, really concentrating this on the outer corner, but you can still see the ready he is all around it, but you can also just see the real shape of the shadow taking place when you add this in. And again, just getting your big blending brush and just blending all the edges. I'm not actually adding any shadow onto this, I'm just literally getting the blending brush and just taking it around the edges. Now I'm going to get a wee bit of Makeup Geek footage and just on a flat shader brush and apply this onto the lid. So I'm now going in with Inglot's um, gel liner on a MAC 266 brush, just their black gel liner and I'm just going to, I don't think I'm going to wing this out today but I am going to just create a nice black line across the, um, the lash line. Do you prefer to use a gel than a liquid? On myself, I use a liquid, but on my clients, I use a gel yeah. like every single time. I think that a lot of people think that the gel is a lot easier to control, which makes it easier on Oh, it definitely is. Unless you're like super, super magically talented with a liquid liner, it can be fair. Yeah. Right, so I'll now you. I'm just going to go and start to kind of define the eyebrows a wee bit more so again I'm just going in with the brow pomade I'm not going to define them too much more because I do love the natural shape but I am just going to give them a slightly more structure um, than what have we done in the daytime look so maybe just slightly darkening them a bit and giving them just a little bit more of a sharpness I personally used to always do the Natural brow, and I've just kind of like lost it. I don't know what's like happened. You go through phases, don't you? Yeah. Like, oh, you do. No, I'm like I'm not super defined. Like defined is that a word? Yeah. Defined. Like brow, it's like super lure. <laughs> just like right in your face. That brush yeah, is brow brow products are so, so good. That's, this is the next yeah. eyebrow brush. Really, really like it. It's really, really like I love this part <laughs> so much. Please buy it because I love it. <laughs> and I'm just going to carve them out slightly again with just the wee concealer palette. Okay, I just had a really good idea. What? Um, you can continue working, just talking to everyone that's watching. Um, if you want to see me and Karen kind of do like less of a I mean, this is supposed to be kind of like serious and like <laughs> kind of. <laughs> We're supposed to be serious. That's the word. Supposed this to be. Is supposed to be serious. <laughs> but if you guys want to see kind of like a more chit, yeah, like, like more chit chat, more is a chit chat, but more like me and Karen sitting down and actually doing our own individual makeups. More like a chit chat, get ready with me yeah. sort of video. If you guys would, I would love to do that with Karen. Oh, so if I you would guys would it. like want to see that, then make sure to comment down below. Yes, or that if would you be have so any fun. other ideas that you would like to see me and Karen do any challenges, any makeup challenges, any fun challenges. Yeah, like funny videos any, as well. I'm up for that. Any thing. ideas, like anything, anything. <laughs> then comment down below, and um, we'll see what we can get sorted. Yeah, that sounds so good. That so one. we're just going to deepen up the contour a wee bit. So professional right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, this is when, this is when from really professional and the first one to just like, uh, just turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what 
never happens, happens then. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna get this light powder by Engla on this brush and kind of like bake out the the contour. Such a good baker on my weekends. I like to bake my cheeks, my <laughs> under eyes. <laughs> Okay, so I've just tidied up um, underneath Sophia's eyes with a wee bit of concealer and a wee bit of powder just to clean up any fallout. So now I'm going to get um, Frappe again just on a wee blending brush and put this under the eye. So if you look up for me, and just, this is just going to help smoke it out even more. I don't know about you, but I love like under eye, like really eyeshadow. Yes, like, so I. I know a lot of people that don't actually, like, they do their top eyeshadow and don't do anything underneath. That kills me because it looks so top heavy. Yeah, where I always like to, even if it's a little bit, I always like to put s yeah, something same. under your eye. Especially because you have blue eyes, so yeah. like anything underneath is going to make them look bluer. I always use like, I think it's like, it's not red brick, it's something similar to red brick from MAC. It's like, in one of my like palettes that I made, it's like an orange colour. Yeah. And I always put it like, as my like, first colour under my eye and it makes my eyes be so blue. Yeah, that, that, that would be really nice. I'm going to get a little bit of bitten again, just on a smaller brush but still pretty and um, fluffy and put that under the eye as well. I'm just getting a wee bit of black and smoking out underneath again. <laughs> okay, so um, um, now I'm going to use Inglot's Sparkling Dust in the shade 3 just to brighten up the highlight because we kind of lost it when we were doing the concealer so I'm going to go a little bit crazy on the highlight because this boot is so like who doesn't love highlight. And is this <sighs> the one that we both own? Yeah. Me and Karen both have this highlighter. Um, A lot of people, I don't know, do you get, I often get asked what highlighter I use. Yeah. I used to use the Mary Lou one. Yes, I got really I was it. obsessed. And then I got this one. And now it doesn't seem as bright anymore. What I actually do now is put the Mary Lou one on and then put this one over Because I feel as if the Mary yeah. Lou one, because it's like compact, like it's like. Yeah. Like in a part, like a. Like a hard powder type thing. You can put it like more directly on your skin. Yeah, where this one kind of goes kinda sits away sits on it. Yeah. It more sits on it. So yeah. I feel I like putting both on. But that's like extreme highlight, which. Yeah. I love. It's like so bright. So, so I'm going to use Ploof by MAC next. Um, <laughs> such a weird name. Like, I don't even know what that is. And um, use it under the brow. So I'm going to just put a wee bit more mascara on before I put the lashes on. Just because it's got a little bit of eyeshadow and I'm just to make them blend a wee bit more but again this doesn't massively matter. Okay so we're just going to pop some more dramatic lashes on now. Okay so last but not least we're going to go on to the lips so we're just going to darken it up with a darker lime crime and again I'm just using it out of the, um, the bullet. Well is it the bullet if it's not a lipstick? What would you call that? Tube. 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 Actually, kind of the same color, what do you call them brush, like that type of brush? What would you call that? A doe thing. A doe thing, that would be it. Yeah. Now we're just going to pop a wee bit of gloss. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss in the shade Candy Gloss. Okay, so this is the final look. We have went for a super smoky glam look with big lashes. We kind of went for a red kind of tone in the makeup, which really, really makes her eyes stand out and a super glossy look, which I absolutely love. So yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? Absolutely love this look. I think it's crazy how good of a job Karen done from bringing this for, or taking this from such a simple, like daytime look to this crazy, gorgeous, nighttime look i, I mean it. it's amazing what she's done i absolutely love it um i would definitely wear this it's such a wearable look as well and everything was so easy to do but um i yeah i really love this look i love it i absolutely love it so guys thank you so much for watching and again please go down to the link below and see where sophia's video is we, you can see exactly how we've done the look before and a super day like daytime wearable look but still very glam 
So yeah guys, thank you so, for so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, shit. Yeah, this is oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit